been about five episodes since Baywatch did a plot involving the promotion of one of their tie-in products. So isn't it about time we took a trip to SeaWorld to see the Baywatch show? Hi, I'm David Hasselhoff. You know, on Baywatch, we make it all look so easy. Now come watch the SeaWorld Pros and see for yourself how wild it really is. The new live Baywatch at SeaWorld Adventure Show. All the life-saving, wave-breaking, pulse-pounding drama of Baywatch in the surf-shattering, sun-splashing, high-soaring splendor of SeaWorld. New Baywatch at SeaWorld. It's making quite a splash. Yes, in a shameless bit of self-promotion, Baywatch has written an entire episode around the creation of an in-universe SeaWorld attraction, which looks an awful lot like the real-life SeaWorld attraction that had already existed for two years by this point. If you weren't around in the mid-90s to witness Baywatch at SeaWorld, it was a half-hour show featuring water stunts, simulated rescues, and, uh, dancing, I guess? While it looks like a lot of people have fond memories of the show, it's unfortunately also known for an incident at the Ohio Sea World where a mechanical failure caused a speedboat to crash into the audience. Thankfully, no one was killed. And eight months later, the Baywatch at Sea World episode surely made the Baywatch at Sea World attraction beloved once again. And nothing else bad ever happened at Sea World. You might recall that, whenever they remember it, Samantha is Baywatch's resident marketing genius, because Baywatch the Lifeguard program needs a marketing department, apparently. Hey, we have our own marketing genius, Sam. That we could market our own clothing line. Samantha Thomas, our new captain of marketing. How are you? It's all about marketing. And this episode is one of the more blatant and cynical uses of that aspect of the character. Clearly shoehorning in the SeaWorld stuff so they can squeeze more money out of the audience. And I love it! I miss the days where Hobie randomly won a year's supply of a and cream soda. We need more cynicism! Anyway, uh, I think I started this paragraph to say Samantha features heavily in this episode. So Cody's old friend Spencer Reed and company are putting on a water show in hopes of attracting a sponsor. Samantha notes that Baywatch is suffering so many budget cuts, it would be great if they could get a sponsor too. I'm sure you can see where this is going. Meanwhile, some irresponsible fishermen are doing some grenade fishing, as you do. And that's when the sea lions plot their revenge. Damn sea lions! My, my save! My save! My save! My save. save. Fine, it can be both our saves. Just don't show my face during the rescue, so it's less obvious it's a stunt double. Only if I can do the same. We're, We're here, here too. too. There was a sea lion out in the rocks and looked like it was her pretty bad. We tried to help it, but when we came close, it just swam away. <gasps> That's not your real voice. I mean, let's find the sea lion. My manicure can follow these tracks. Okay, but can we take it slow? I'm still recovering after being hit by a semi-truck when I was possessed. You were hit by a semi? And possessed? Yeah, it's fine. Stephanie's ghost helped me out. You saw Stephanie's ghost? What did Caroline say? How the hell should I know? I haven't talked to her. Oh no, poor little guy. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. Let my breasts be a comfort to you. Do you need some backup? Unlike that time CJ comically kept a sea lion in her bathtub, now things are serious. Time to call in a rescue agency a lifeguard would normally contact in this sort of situation. Or the SeaWorld that's two and a half hours away. I get a hold of the headquarters out and patch it through to SeaWorld. The sea lion is in dire condition. His surgery is going to take hours and even then he may not make it. <laughs> so why don't they check out the park while they wait? <laughs> it's pretty sweet, and it's not like they're on duty or anything. <laughs> also, they made these clothes magically appear. Hey, maybe while CJ is here, she can reconnect with that random guy she romanced the last time the show promoted SeaWorld. Just kidding. That would require the show remembering that plot. And at this point, it's a miracle that Hasselhoff can even remember the gist of his lines. Thanks for making me find you out here. The sea lion is gonna be okay if you care. <laughs> Meanwhile, guess what Samantha is doing? 
Oh, I'm proposing a comprehensive marketing strategy. Looks like marketing to me. Captain Now She Likes Fun has a plan. A Baywatch-themed water show at SeaWorld, starring Cody's loser friends. It's new and exciting. If new means two years old, this is a completely normal thing for a lifeguard division to have in-universe. Marketing. <laughs> I love that they already have Baywatch merch and a giant sign put up for this show Samantha has literally only just proposed to SeaWorld. This episode takes place over like three days. And here's Sonic the Hedgehog voice actor Ryan Drummond in his first role. Enjoy! Thank goodness he's alright, or should I say, thank Baywatch! Meanwhile, deputies Mitch and Jordan are on the case of the sea lion shooters. Yes, folks, Jordan kinda has something to do. Thanks for including me on this stakeout, Mitch. Shut up! Sure, they're sea lion shooters, but their boat is called the Tom and Jerry, so how bad can they be? Well, time to get in my daily sea lion shooting. Wait, is that a lifeguard? I love shooting them even more! How dare you besmirch Tom and Jerry's name like this! You're under arrest! And I know you weren't attacking me, but fuck you too! Mitch later says that the evil fisherman who attacked him only got two years in prison for the sea lion thing? <laughs> he tried to murder him multiple times! Now I'm part of the Sea World plot too! Jordan died or something, I don't know. Let's go to the show! What follows is 10 minutes of us watching the main characters watch a water show based on themselves. Fantastic stuff. And yes, the Baywatch theme song now exists in their universe. I don't want to downplay the impressiveness of the stunts being performed here. But this is now the third water stunt sequence we've seen in this episode, one of which was a rehearsal of the exact same stunts here. So can we maybe move on? This next bit is just incredible. So we cut to these drunk guys watching the show on a boat, and one of those guys is Ellis Edwards, aka Johnny Danger from Wet n' Wild, in his fourth appearance on the show as a reckless drunk. I don't know what it was about that guy that got him typecast as a stunt drunkie, but I am absolutely delighted to see him. Alongside him is Julie Michaels, who is a recurring featured extra on the show. I saw that she was credited for a role on Baywatch Nights as Catherine in the episode Space Spores, but there is no character named Catherine in Space Spores. I think that's actually the character she plays in the Phantom of the Opera season finale on proper Baywatch? And oh, by the way, this season's finale is Phantom of the Opera, and I must emphasize that it's on normal Baywatch and not nights. Deborah Schwartz claps in approval at the episode she co-wrote. Anyway, barbecue explosion! Whoa, good thing we were already in uniform, am I right? Question, is it a good idea to write an episode that features a boat accident at a SeaWorld park during the Baywatch show eight months after a boat accident happened in real life at a SeaWorld Baywatch show? Sorry, folks, this isn't part of the show. I must inform you that this is, in fact, no good. Yeah, do the new me! And the chart I'm a dolphin! Yay, rescue! Finally, we get the applause we deserve. Lions. Next time on Baywatch Nights, an evil force breaks wind. Can Mitch and Ryan stop it in time? Let's blow!